College basketball's most storied rivalry will add another chapter this week when Duke and North Carolina collide. It's so big we brought in a big gun, Luke DeCock, columnist for the News and Observer. Uh, look, year in, year out, I don't care who's playing, this matchup rarely does disappoint. And it's because there's, it's the one the players care about most, the fans care about most. There's just so much involved, so much going on that it's it's hard to tell sometimes where the game starts and where the, the stands end. It's it's just it's such a, a, a crazy game. And, and the history of it is such a big part of it, too. And every play and every game kind of connects to something back that happened 10, 15, 20, 50 years ago. So anything that happens in these games, you're pulling on all these threads of everything that's happened before. And it just gives a context and a, a base to everything that makes it special as if this series needs any more hype Duke is going to be number one tomorrow heading into this series and North Carolina coming off perhaps its best game of the year yeah Duke will be number one on my AP ballot tomorrow so I can I can reveal that I like it yeah uh, no I think Duke's clearly the best team in the country right now I would say there's a gap from Duke to Gonzaga and then a gap from Gonzaga to Virginia and the, the pack of other teams there um, you look at what Duke has done, the two games they've lost, Gonzaga on a neutral court by one possession, Syracuse without two starters. No one else has really even come close. Virginia, uh, Louisville can't hold a 23-point lead. You know, it's just, it's a machine. They do so many things well. They're so hard to stop. Yeah. And Carolina, you know, I, I, you, uh, the Wake Forest game was a good performance against a team that's really struggling. I look back to their performance against Gonzaga, how well they shot the ball, the defense they played. That's what this North Carolina team is capable of. We just don't get it all the time. If they can play like that, they, there are very few teams that have a chance against Duke. Carolina is definitely one of them. I mean, Carolina has that ability. Blue Devils are young, but as we've seen, they're not afraid of the big stage. Beat Kentucky in the opener. Those two great games against Virginia. I don't get a sense this team's going to be rattled by what goes into this game, all the pomp and circumstance and certainly the noise. No, and they're actually kind of thriving with it. You know, like Zion kind of grew up with this. This is kind of who he is, what he enjoys. R.J. Barrett's been in this Canadian program for years. He's almost playing, been playing at a national level. So this is a team that's very comfortable in the spotlight. North Carolina has beaten Duke when they were number one six times under Coach K. Why is it that they seem to have so much success in this rivalry on a big stage against a, a good Duke team? Part of it, there's no secrets between these two teams. And one of the great secrets that there is in the rivalry is, is that Duke and Carolina behind the scenes when it comes to planning things and, and the tournament, things like that, they're actually closer in, in terms of what they do and, and their cooperation than most rivals are. So the rivalry is actually as, uh, as much a brotherhood as a rivalry um, in terms of there's very few programs that understand what it's like to be in the kind of spotlight that UNC and Duke are in on a regular basis. I'm going to put you on the spot. It's Sunday. We've got a few days before tip-off. Who do you like? Who wins and why? I almost always pick the road team in this matchup because I feel wow, like really? I feel like that's weird. But I'm actually going to go with Duke this time because, as I said earlier, I just don't think that there are many teams in the country at Duke's level right now. That could change down the road. Uh, I think Carolina absolutely can win, is capable of winning, you know, probably has a, a, a 51-49 shot at it. But I do think Duke right now, the way the Blue Devils are playing, what Zion Williamson is doing, that's just a team that's going to be really hard for anyone to beat. All right, I am looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to your column, summing all this thing up. You can find Luke's work in the News and Observer. We appreciate your time, man. Thank you.